All right, guys, let's see how we can use Prometheus in order to collect data from a Node.js application. What we would like to do is to be able for our application to produce useful data for the Prometheus to be able to understand in a form of metrics, which Prometheus will be able to read. So here are the files that I've prepared, a simple Docker file for our uh, Node application we're using uh, Node Slim version. Here we're moving uh, the Node modules uh, directory in order not to interfere our local directory with the Node modules inside of the container. So basically after the Node modules are being set up, we will copy uh, the contents of uh, our uh, source directory into the container. Now let's take a look at the Docker Compose file. All right, so we have two services, Node Exporter and Prometheus. Now to the Prometheus service, we need somehow to connect it uh, to the Node Exporter. That's why we are first using a Prometheus image and we are exposing certain ports. And then we are specifying the configuration file for Prometheus, which we'll see in a second. And just because this is inside of the container, uh, we are making a local a binding of our local file uh, to the container uh, its Prometheus directory, enable for the Prometheus to read from this configuration file. Now to the node exporter. So first we are cleaning up the node modules because uh, somehow in the container, if other users are using this directory, uh, one might have installed uh, modules which uh, are incompatible with our um, uh, host. And then with uh, Node Monitor, we are following whether our application has changes. And in such case, we are restarting the application. In the section of volumes, we are binding our current directory inside of the container so that uh, the changes that we're making are immediately reflected uh, inside of the container. And also we are excluding the Node modules uh, so that the container has its own node modules, uh, which are different from our host uh, operating system. Let's see now the Prometheus uh, configuration. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, we are just targeting our uh, node exporter uh, service. Uh, so this service where our node application uh, resides and uh, in interval of five seconds, we'll be scraping data uh, from the uh, not exporter uh, service at port 8080 and now it's time to see what's inside of our uh, not exporter uh, service so here is uh, our main server basically we'll have uh, this server to respond to two urls one is the simple uh, root access where we are just printing uh, hello world and we're closing the connection and the other is for the metrics also, the server will be listening on port 8080. Now, let's take a look on how uh, can we produce metrics. So first, we'll install and require the uh, Prometheus client and we'll create a registry where we'll set up uh, a prefix for our application. So it will be example not GS application. And this will be needed afterwards uh, when we're producing an output uh, in order to be able to distinguish our application from other Node.js or other applications running on the container. Afterwards, we are creating a histogram uh, with a special name, HTTP request duration seconds. And we have a description uh, that we are just measuring the HTTP requests. Then we are specifying actually the output that we would like to be produced, which is the requested method, the access route that uh, we have been requested and uh, whether the request has been successful or not. We register this uh, custom metrics. We need to respond with this metric after the metrics uh, route is being requested. We are just um, sending those metrics and we are ending up the request. All right, so let's uh, take a look at this in action. First, we'll go and run uh, docker compose up and let's uh, rebuild the containers and this will start all the uh, services. 
uh, described in the Docker Compose file. And also we are starting our metrics producing uh, server. Now we can browse localhost on port 8080. And this is our default URL. And if we browse the metrics URL, we'll see the produced uh, metrics uh, and those metrics uh, we would like to feed into uh, Prometheus. That's why we can also, browsing port 9090, uh, take a look at the uh, Prometheus uh, dashboard from the status um, configuration. We see that the configuration has been loaded and we are uh, scrapping data from uh, node exporter uh, service. Our targets are healthy and they are up and this is our example Node.js application and now uh, we can go uh, to a graph and actually uh, use our custom metric uh, in order to be displayed here it's HTTP request duration seconds let's say bucket we click on execute and we see that we have this output uh, with a number of hits of the URLs, for example, uh, just because we have only once uh, browsed the uh, main URL, we have one hit. And now if we run again uh, the statistics, uh, we see that the example Node.js application has been uh, hit two times. We also see that uh, the URL of metrics is uh, hit 29 times even uh, 31 times this is because every five seconds Prometheus will collect data uh, from uh, this URL and uh, basically that's uh, how you can uh, create uh, custom uh, metrics and feed them into Prometheus and the next step is of course uh, to be able uh, to create beautiful graphics of uh, uh, this data and that's one way if you would like to uh, use the integrated uh, Prometheus uh, graphs. Another way is to use Grafana and this is a topic of a new video. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, information and if uh, you like it, you can uh, of course subscribe uh, to the channel.